Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sam FX YouTube channel and this is MIUI GT version by LFS 12.0.9 stable you can see here with Android version 10 not 11 not 12 also it's an Android 10 with 2021 5.1 I mean May security patch this is this with May 2021 security patch with Android version 10 you can see here and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 10 minutes and 2 seconds you can see here the maximum is 149 and average is 147 and minimum is 137 and the good thing is no CPU thermal throttling has been detected which is very good in this particular ROM you can see here there is no CPU throttling has been detected even after running with 10 minutes that's really a good sign of this particular ROM and uh, coming to CPU throttling test has been gone now Geekbench scores in this particular ROM you can see here the single score is 571 and multi score is 1665 and the kernel user is Linux 4.14.117 strong bigger version 8 kernel has been used this is the available build for Poco X is pretty good but with the Android 10 the multi score could have been better like 1700 1800 but single score performance is top notch here I haven't seen this kind of score in recent times in this POCO X3 and coming to Android benchmark results you can see here 3,53,141 and temperature raise was just 3.7 degrees Celsius quite a bit of high and battery drop as 3% this is how the Android benchmark result and Geekbench scores and the CPU throttling test by seeing that you can say that there is a performance oriented from yes absolutely and the battery life is surprisingly very good you can see here I am using this ROM from last night it's been almost 14 to 15 hours now I am using this particular ROM screen time you can see 36 minutes screen time has been recorded but it was there from yesterday it's how it is the battery life is pretty good in this particular ROM this is the battery life and you get ultra battery saver and battery saver is available it's based on MIUI troll only not a mere 13 you can see here the battery usage and regarding display and display settings let me show here as you can see light mode and dark mode dark mode is pitch black condition even though it is android 10 it's in pitch black condition that i really like it and regarding color schemes you get basic things and you can adjust the warm cool temperature from here and regarding refresh rate you get up to 120 it's kept to 120 again it back to 60 hertz and regarding flashing method is exactly same yesterday i made a video regarding May 13th follow same steps just add disable force encryption after flashing the ROM flash that ROM, that also the file disable force encryption if it is available to share the link I will share in community section no means you can check out my telegram channel with same name sample sample effects or if you want personally I will share in Instagram too that's how it is you need to flash that then no problems same as instead of what I flashed and coming to notifications you get these kind of options here you can manually disable the individual app notification from here not a lot of customization but basic things are working fine here and regarding dialer I need to show you you get your MIUI a proper dialer that means you can do the direct video call that's not a problem and you can record the call but other person will never notify that your call been recorded like that that's very good thing many people like about these things that's how it is and regarding the BGM I will show you within a while and this how the regarding wallpapers and style widgets you won't get anything in Android 10 and as you can see you get this kind of live wallpapers are available and some of the I mean, 13 live wallpapers as I shown in the yesterday's video those things are still available in this particular ROM including with these geometry fair wearings and snow peaks, those are also included that's how it is and uh, coming to DRM info in this particular ROM you will get level 3 certification this is very bad I thought it's level 1 but that's how it is you can't watch the audit application in HD resolution that's you need to keep in mind and uh, into the settings into privacy protection you get this kind of Android 10 style nothing great here into special features you get game turbo it's uh, as you can see you get this kind of sound this is a old kind of settings so you can add the game from here let me add the BGMI this is very old game turbo mode whatever you call added a game now now 
we can individually set the additional settings into battlegrounds as you can see touch response sensitivity thus you can increase here enhance in visuals you can keep four presets are given extreme is very good thing you'll get everything bright and everything and area you can select here touch response area that's how it is this is a very old kind of gaming mode or whatever you call and whatsapp everything is going to working fine regarding safety and status let me install that and let me show you it will get past it's an under 10 based from a real sorry mio is gt version this is but what are the graphic settings we get that within a while i will going to explain it out and it get failed you need to manually pass the cts profile match in order to use the google pay or whatever the payment application whatsapp is working fine as you can see those things are fine just in order to use the google pay you need to pass the safety net status manually that you need to keep in mind now going into settings and again apps here you can change here dual apps app info system app info app locker is also given and that's how it is and let me show you the bgmi gameplay that's how the gaming mode shows as you can see it's a little bit new here but the version is older that's how the bgmi gameplay you get into graphic settings smooth plus ultra is the maximum you won't get any high fps other than this if you want you can use the gfx tool to make high fps come but nowadays many roms are coming with smooth plus 90 fps and i'm recommending those things but anyhow you can use magic's models in this particular rom because it's an android 10 base you can utilize that that's how it is and let's say bgmi gameplay and wind out this video and by the way if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also follow the bell notification by pressing the bell icon and if you like the video give it a like let's see in the boot camp and later i will show the tdm also and regarding loudness as you can see it's how it is and 12.5 style of audio slider you get boot camp surpass no and pixel experience 12.1 the latest build that's an unofficial build i'm waiting for one more build i will definitely make it out Many people ask about that and some other ROMs. I will definitely cover each and every ROM supported for Focus, even for Redmi Note 7 Pro also. I am not neglecting any ROM here. Just takes time, that's it. I won't neglect any of the ROM here. That you need to keep in mind. Maybe late one day or two day, but I will definitely cover them. And regarding the gaming ROM for Poco X, I already made the Cherish OS that was really good. Many people are enjoying that. If something comes better than that, I definitely include that. Why I hesitate to make that? I don't know. I don't do that. And don't spam me in Instagram. Some people asking me, show me the method for flashing and I want to unlock bootloader guys follow youtube there are plenty of tutorials and in my own channel also there are tutorials to how to flash the rom before that you see the video unlocking bootloader those things are mandatory there are plenty of videos for poco x3 and whatever your devices that's how it is and into tdm you can see the graphic settings again same here smooth plus ultra nothing new here the gaming experience is fine and good thing is it's not getting warm enough that's quite obvious and 40 fps it won't get too warm if you play in 90 or 60 also it gets a little bit of warm after a couple of hours with extreme settings might we get good battery life, sorry good performance with this rom I don't know if many people are using this ROM can share your experience so that others will understand the performance in this ROM. I will come back here and let me show the charging animation. Uh, fast charging is obviously supported. I'm just showing the animation. You get like this. If it is 33 watt charger, it shows turbo charging. That's how it is. And regarding face unlock, you can see here it's pretty much fast here. As you can see, once again, as you can see very quick in MIUI ROMs the face unlock
and this is a fingerprint unlock as you can see it's very quick even the fingerprint unlock and the face unlock let me show you again as you can see it's again very quick to unlock your smartphone just tap the button it's get unlocked within a fraction of milliseconds that's how it is basic things are fine and even the gaming experience is fine you can make it out as you can see there is a magic app you need to install this and make utilize of that and hide that you will get safety net status to get past that and even you can use some of the models to enhance your gaming experience this is how the mia gt version you can see here again into settings this is how the quick settings panel or whatever control center you get like this and this is the mia gt lfs 12.0.9 stable version for poco x if you like the video give it a like and if you still not subscribe to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button and also allow the bell notification to press the bell icon and like the video give it a like and here you go this is a camera application it's also working fine the mia camera you get all the features everything is going to be working fine no problem regarding that video also working fine that's all guys in this video thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now